What's up YouTube? This is Mathways97 and welcome to episode number 38 of my WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. And this episode of Monday Night Raw is kicking off with Dean Ambrose. That's right, the Lunatic Fringe is about to announce his tag team partner to take on Blake and Murphy at Battleground. Of course, Kane issued the announcement last week that Dean Ambrose had until the end of this episode to announce who his tag team partner will be. We're about to find out who will team up with the Lunatic Fringe. Alright, so I had to find a partner. Well, I found just the guy. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not Dean Ambrose's tag team partner. That is Dean Ambrose's opponents for Battleground, and it looks like they don't want to hear who Dean Ambrose has to choose for a partner. Blake and Murphy, it looks like they're ready to get Battleground started right now. Cutting off Dean Ambrose here, and now making their way down to the ring. These two men, obviously they are just eager to put Dean Ambrose away for good perhaps try to get on the good side of Seth Rollins, especially after what happened at King of the Ring where they failed to help Seth Rollins win the tournament. Well, right now they're circling the ring. Oh, no, wait, look up behind you. No, wait, Ambrose! Ambrose saw it coming, attacking Blake and now clotheslining Murphy over the top rope. Blake and Murphy tried to ambush Ambrose here, but now Dean Ambrose is just unloading on Blake and Murphy. Well, it looks like their planned assault has backfired. A DDT there from Ambrose. And now, Ambrose. No, a counter from Blake. Wesley Blake now, and now Murphy involved as well. Oh, what a kick to the back of the skull of Dean Ambrose. And just like that, the numbers game has taken over. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Blake and Murphy, they know exactly who's on his way. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is here. Bl Buddy Murphy trying to cut him off, but Sami Zayn bringing the fight to Buddy Murphy, a drop kick to the face. Sami Zayn coming down here to, s the cavalry is here to stop this attempted beat down on Dean Ambrose, and now Sami Zayn has entered the ring. Wesley Blake trying to take him out, but that's failed attempt. Blue Thunder bomb by Sami Zayn. As Dean Ambrose pulls himself back up to his feet, and you can hear the crowd, ole, ole, ole. Goodbye, Wesley Blake. Dean Ambrose and Sami Zayn, clear house. It looks like Dean Ambrose has found his tag team partner. He'll be teaming up with Sami Zayn this Sunday at the Battleground pay-per-view as they take on Blake and Murphy in tag team action. Will this be the outcome we see this Sunday? Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose standing tall? Well, only time will tell, but for right now, Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose, they get the last laugh here on Monday Night Raw. And now we can officially get this episode underway, as we're going to be seeing Seth Rollins take on Fandango in just a few short moments. Rob Van Dam scored a win over Fandango's tag team partner, Adam Rose. Blake and Murphy did pick up a tag team victory over Curtis Axel and Damian Sandow. Finn Balor, a one-on-one -on -one win over Connor. Christian will be taking on The Big Show, and in the main event, Cesaro will issue his final United States Championship Open Challenge before the Battleground pay-per-view. Cesaro is, of course, slated to compete in that Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat matchup against Kevin Owens and Titus O'Neil. So tonight, we'll see if Cesaro can build some more momentum and retain his United States Championship. But first, we have the architect, formerly of The Shield, Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins, he's got a match of his own to prepare for at Battleground. He will be going one-on-one -on -one with the super athlete, Rusev. And Rusev, he is just... just chomping at the bit waiting to get his hands on Seth Rollins after Seth Rollins screwed him over in the King of the Ring tournament. Well, tonight, Seth Rollins, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the party animals, Fandango. 
And you can see Fandango making his way down here to the ring in style, as always. But this could be a huge opportunity for Fandango to play the role of spoiler in regards to Seth Rollins' momentum. If he could just cut that completely off, Seth Rollins, he's going to be having some difficulty in his match against Rusev. I mean, already Seth Rollins, he's at a very obvious size and strength disadvantage when it comes to the Bulgarian Brute. So Seth Rollins, if he could have some, some momentum heading into his corner, I mean, that might be just the one thing he needs to really try to level the playing field, at least heading into the match. Once the match begins, Seth Rollins, obviously gonna have to utilize that speed and agility, his high-flying, risk-taking offense. But for right now, Seth Rollins, also a chance to perhaps take out some frustrations on Fandango. Of course, Seth Rollins at the King of the Ring tournament made it all the way to the final round, but unfortunately for him, thanks to the efforts of Dean Ambrose and Darren Young, his, uh, his lackeys, Blake and Murphy, were unable to really have a significant play in the match. And as a result, Seth Rollins, he fell short against the real deal, Titus O'Neil. And now Seth Rollins, I mean, that might be the, oh, look at that slap right to the side of the head of Fondango. And now Seth Rollins, float over DDT, spiking Fondango's face into the mat. But as I was going to say, that might be the closest Seth Rollins will ever get to becoming the King of the Ring, and that would have guaranteed him a World Championship matchup in the main event of Survivor Series. A platform like that is a huge opportunity to make yourself into a superstar. And Seth Rollins, it's just not his year. Oh, he gets... He hangs up Fondango there on that bottom rope. And now a standing shooting star press from Seth Rollins. No, unfortunately for Seth Rollins, he's back to square one. As, wait, counter by Fandango, a clothesline. Beautiful counter there. Rollins was going for that, that face buster, but Fandango, now look at this. Electric chair from Fandango. And now, Fandango, there's the arrogance. But he can't afford to do that against Seth Rollins. I mean, we've seen Seth Rollins' is arsenal on display. We've seen his capacity for destruction. You don't want to give him a moment to breathe because he will take full advantage of that. But Fandango, he doesn't get the message. He's still dancing. But there's Seth Rollins with a rolling elbow. That'll teach Fandango to focus on his opponent. Especially when you're going up against someone the caliber of Seth Rollins. Well, Fandango right now with a couple of strikes. Still able to keep himself in the mix. Now hanging Rollins up on the top. Oh, a neck breaker there. Beautiful move there by Fondango. As now he scales to the top rope. Fondango looking to take a risk. With the splash, no. Seth Rollins able to roll out of the way. And Fondango crashes and burns. And now Seth Rollins has him up. Falcon arrow right there. And Fondango, I think that might have just been his last gasp of offense. Seth Rollins now the rapid fire curb stomps right in the chest, right to the sternum of Fondango. And now Seth Rollins, it could just be the beginning of the end here for Fondango. As Rollins puts him over in the corner, chop right to the chest. And now Rollins, look at this, takes Fondango down, walking the ropes. Seth Rollins now, perhaps he's going to take a risk. Heading to the top rope. Are we gonna see it? Seth Rollins, Phoenix Splash! And the hook of the leg, it's over. Two, three, Seth Rollins picks up the victory over Fondango tonight. And Seth Rollins sending a direct message to Rusev. He's ready for Battleground, and he's ready to put the Bulgarian Brute in his place. Oh, wait a minute, speak of the devil! Rusev, a chair shot to the back of the skull of Seth Rollins. Rusev, now just unloading on Seth Rollins with this chair. Rusev, he is one pissed off Bulgarian. And now he's going to take out his wrath on Seth Rollins, dumping him out to the floor. 
Rusev once again has that steel chair in hand. And he's not even waiting for Battleground. Rusev, he's putting the boots to Seth Rollins early here. Perhaps this is just a taste of what we expect to see at Battleground. Rusev, DDT onto the steel chair. And now you can just hear Rusev just screaming in frustration right now. He is, I mean, he's just tearing Seth Rollins apart right now. Seth Rollins might not even make it to Battleground. Oh my God, Rusev a big boot. And Seth Rollins' skull was sandwiched. Absolutely sandwiched between the boot of Rusev and that steel ring post. My God, Rusev. This is my title from now on, and no one has the courage to challenge me for it. My title reign will be won for the ages. On May 8th, 2016, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 GM Mode concludes at WrestleMania. See Raw and SmackDown go head-to-head -head in a best-of-three tournament, which includes the grudge match between the Heartbreak Kids Shawn Michaels and the Rabid Wolverine Chris Benoit. Not only that, but Triple H will attempt to complete the 59-episode series as World Heavyweight Champion. Can The Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin stop the King of Kings in his tracks, or will Triple H bury the competition? And welcome back now to Monday Night Raw here in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. And yeah, we just... Wow, what a beat down there from Rusev on Seth Rollins. Rusev, I don't, Seth Rollins, I don't know if he's even gonna make it to Battleground after an assault like that. And even if he's physically capable of it, is he mentally capable of standing up to Rusev now at this point? Well, speaking of standing up, we've got the seven foot tall giant known as the Big Show. And where was Big, I'm sure... Big Show, he's going to get chewed out by Seth Rollins later on tonight because where was Big Show to protect Seth Rollins? You know, I, I'm going to say it, but Big Show, he was probably just making his way down to the ring. I mean, I mean, there's a reason why people call this man the Big Slow. And I know, I know, I'm, re I'm really going with the low blows here. But I don't know. Big Show, he wasn't here to help Seth Rollins. I don't know what kind of excuse he's got if he was, um, I don't know, maybe watching his favorite show on Netflix or something. I really don't know what Big Show was doing. Uh, obviously, he had to prepare for this matchup, but I'm sure that that's not going to be a good enough excuse to uh, quell the frustrations of Seth Rollins. So Big Show is going to have to start thinking and have to come up with something pretty clever to try to appease Seth Rollins. But uh, right now, Big Show, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Christian, the man that he pinned in a tag team matchup a few months back. Christian looking to get that win back over the Big Show. Christian, of course, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Rated R Superstar Edge this Sunday at Battlegrounds. And there's a potential number one contendership in it for him if Christian can get the job done this Sunday. Of course, the same goes for Edge. Whoever wins that match is going to be right at the top of the world title picture. And Paul Heyman, you know, he said it himself, so it's official. These two men definitely have a good opportunity to get themselves up to where they want to be in title contention. But they weren't looking forward to this matchup to happen just yet. They wanted to make sure that at least by the time that they would face off, it would be for a world championship. And Paul Heyman, he has just shut that down. That plan will not come to fruition. Instead, wait, Big Show! With a KO punch to the side of Christian's skull, into the cover, one, two. No, Christian kicks out. Maybe that wasn't quite the KO punch. Maybe it was a 
an, an okay punch, as in, as in, okay. Now this is not the knockout punch. It's just a, it's a, it, it's okay. It's a, it's the okay punch. That's what that was. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, Christian, of course, set to go one on one with Edge at Battlegrounds. And last week, Christian, he did the unthinkable. He betrayed his best friend Edge following Edge's match with Randy Orton. Christian, he came down here, looked as like he was going to help Edge to his feet, help him to the back, but no, instead he dropped him with a kill switch. And we heard what Christian had to say earlier on. You know, people, they say that Edge is the stronger of the, of the two, that Christian is the weak link, but honestly, Christian does have a point. He's the world champion in this series, yet people still view him as though he is not on par with Edge. For some reason, it seems as though Christian is sitting in Edge's shadow, even now, when Christian has won a world title. Look at this. The roll-up on the Big Show could have him. One, two. No, Big Show kicks at it, too. But Christian, that does not sit well with him. And even just the comments that Edge made last week, Christian took, took offense to what Edge had to say. It didn't seem... You know, it seems innocent in and of itself. Edge taking responsibility for his loss, but Christian almost seemed to take it as, hey, sorry, Christian, I didn't get the job done, and you can't get the job done yourself. I personally don't think that's what Edge meant at all, but Christian, you know, when you get desperate, you get frustrated, and Christian at this point, he's definitely not thinking straight. He's not in his right mind and just even something as subtle that could be subtly implied as what Edge said last week it has just pushed Christian over the edge and now and now Edge and Christian they gotta face off best friends will collide at Battleground and I don't Edge he's not looking forward to this matchup Christian before I would have said he's not looking forward to it but now now, Christian, I'm sure he wants this match more than anything, just to prove to Edge that he is the better man at DDT out to the floor on the big show. What a move there by Christian. Christian just looking to unleash some frustrations as he slaps Big Show in the face. Also looking to send a message to Edge. Just showing that, hey, I can survive on my own. I am the better man. And by defeating Big Show tonight, he will redeem himself for his mistakes a few months ago. As Christian now slides into the ring. Christian, he wants to make quick work of the Big Show tonight so he can be fully, fully healed for his match against Edge. Reverse DDT by Christian. And now Christian the cover. One. Two. No, Big Show kicks out at two. And Christian, like I said, very frustrated. Ever since he lost the World the world Heavyweight Championship to Dolph Ziggler at Extreme Rules, Christian, he has not been the same man. He has snapped. He has just completely, his mind has become completely warped with repeated failures. There's now Big Show the cover on Christian. Two. No, Christian kicks out. But the question is, will this warped state of mind help Christian to defeat Edge this Sunday or will it only hurt will it, or will it, will it only serve to hurt him to hinder him in his progress towards the world title perhaps we have seen the last of Christian in the world championship scene look at this big show off the second rope a shoulder block and that could finish Christian off big show throwing his 400 plus pound weight right at Christian two no Christian kicks out big show can't believe it it's not often we see Big Show, even if it's off the second rope, it's not often we see Big Show try to fly. So when he does, it's amazing that his opponent can stay alive in the matchup like Christian just did. Christian, reverse DDT again. A nice counter by Christian. He had Big Show off balance, and now, oh, he takes him down, a big forearm to the face. Christian, now perhaps looking to scale to the top rope. There he is, Christian, high risk, frog splash, and the hook of the leg, this could do it, one, two, 
No, Big Show kicks at it too. Big Show just able to survive. But for how much longer? How much longer can he keep this up? Christian spins him around. Kill switch. Engaged. And now the hook of the leg. One, two, three. Christian picks up a must need victory over the Big Show tonight on Monday Night Raw. Christian, he needed that victory tonight. And now the question is, does he have what it takes to defeat Edge this Sunday? Will Christian be the next number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship? Can he defeat Edge and just reinforce not only to these people, to Edge, and to himself that he is not the weak link, that Christian is the better of these two friends. Well, we'll find out this Sunday at Battleground. Speaking of Battleground, we're going to find out if Cesaro can recapture his Intercontinental Championship when he takes on Kevin Owens and Titus O'Neil. Tonight, he defends his United States Championship in his signature Open Challenge. And of course, with these open challenges, you never know who can who can show up. Who's who's going to show up? Who's going to be here? Cesaro, of course, he has defended that United States Championship in this open challenge against the likes of Finn Balor, Hideo Itami, Sami Zayn, Daniel Bryan, Kevin Nash, Ric Flair, DDP. I mean, the list goes on and on. Cesaro has defeated. A countless number of opponents. Wait a minute. No way. Well, I know we're in Washington, D.C., but never would I have expected this man to return. The animal is back. That's Dave Batista. Batista is back on Monday Night Raw. We haven't seen him since before WrestleMania. Batista is back baby the animal has returned to monday night raw and he's answering the united states championship open challenge cesaro versus batista it's the main event oh my god batista is back baby i don't, I don't believe this I, i'm in shock right now i i'm speechless i I mean, the last time we saw Batista, things weren't going too well for the animal. I thought perhaps that was the last run for Batista. I mean, he had opportunities at the WWE Championship, and he was unable to achieve... He was unable to achieve long-term success. Really, he just struggled to find his place here on Monday Night Raw. But now Batista is here. He's here live on Monday Night Raw. And he's ready to face one of the best in our industry today. One of the up-and-coming superstars here on the roster. Cesaro taking on Batista. And that's what it's all about. The United States Championship. Whew. I need to take a moment to breathe here. I mean, wow. Batista. Batista is back. I can't wait for this matchup to get ready. The referee rings the bell. Here we go. Cesaro and Batista, one-on-one -on -one in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Here we go, a collar and elbow tie-up as Cesaro backing Batista up against the ropes. The referee got to get in there to force the break, and he does. A clean break from these two superstars and another collar and elbow tie-up. This time it's Batista who gains the upper hand. And Batista taking Cesaro down here. A nice bit of chain wrestling between these two men. Batista with the upper hand in that exchange. And now Cesaro bounced off the ropes. But a counter by Cesaro. Nice arm drag to take down the animal. Nice punch to the face. And there's a left hook. European uppercut by Cesaro. And that one staggers Batista. But now Cesaro dumped over the top rope to the floor. Batista now posing to the crowd here. Batista, this crowd, they are loving the return of the animal. 
And Batista just playing up to the crowd here a little bit. Letting Cesaro get back into the ring. Oh, but now he's got him. He's got him up for a military press. Power slam. Batista, look at this. He is fired up. It looks like he hasn't missed a step since he last competed back in March. Cesaro sweeps out the leg. And double foot stomp to the gut. And he follows it up with a kick to the face. That is a vintage Cesaro combination. And now Cesaro with a bit of mind games. Batista able to sidestep the European uppercut. Now Cesaro blocks the attempted punch. There's a European uppercut. That one connects right on the money. Another European uppercut. And another European uppercut. Cesaro. He's got Batista reeling. Look at this. No. Batista dodged that one. Cesaro was looking for yet another European uppercut. Instead, Batista a pump handle slam. And now Batista just unloading on the Swiss Superman. And if you're Titus O'Neil, if you're Kevin Owens, you're, you're watching this matchup and just salivating at all the damage Batista could do to Batista or to Cesaro right now. Look at this, an arm bar locked in here on Cesaro. Almost like a Kimura lock. But Cesaro able to break the hold. Perhaps. Oh no, wait, now a cross face. A cross face applied by Cesaro here. Batista could be about to submit. I was I was gonna say, with that arm bar. With that almost Kimura lock, Batista could have been perhaps trying to neutralize the uppercuts of Cesaro. But now Batista once again takes Cesaro down. An exchange of submission holds. Now Batista from behind. Just trying to wear Cesaro down here, perhaps recover a bit of his own stamina. Smart strategy here by Batista. Keep Cesaro down on the ground. Don't let him pick up the pace. Oh, Cesaro a jawbreaker. Very resourceful counter by Cesaro. Now a clothesline into the corner. Follows it up with a knee. Right into the mush of Batista. And now Cesaro. Gut wrench suplex. But he keeps him hooked. Cesaro looking for the trifecta. Number two on the way. And now number three. In just a few moments. Gut wrench suplex. Cesaro. Just like that. The hook of the leg. One. Two, no kick out by Batista. It's gonna take much more than that to keep the animal down for a three count. Cesaro now back suit, no counter. Batista able to shift the weight, turn it into a cross body. And now Batista has the upper hand in this matchup. Cesaro off the ropes, spear, spear by the animal. Might have just broken Cesaro in half. One, two, no, Cesaro kicks at it too. Batista telling the ref to count faster, but that was only a two count, Dave. Gonna have to do more than that. And now he's got the beast bite, the submission hold it locked in. And Cesaro, there's no way he's gonna get to the ropes here. He's got no way to reach out to try to break this hold, but he does not tap out. Batista now. Looking to pin the exhausted Cesaro. Two. No, Cesaro gets the shoulder up. You see the frustration on Batista's face. He thought perhaps that was going to be it. That was going to put away the Swiss Superman. But no. Cesaro now, even with a counter. Oh, and a European uppercut to boot. Oh, and now Cesaro. He's calling for a Cesaro swing. Oh, but Batista... You know, he might not have been here for the past several months, but I think he's been studying the tape, even just a little bit. He knew the Cesaro swing was coming, and he wanted no part of it. Batista dumped over the top rope. Cesaro now. Oh no, you've gotta be kidding me! DDT on the apron! Cesaro with a DDT on the apron! And that could have shut Batista's lights out. Cesaro putting up one hell of a fight against the animal tonight. Just because this man is a WWE legend, that doesn't change the fact that Cesaro wants to retain that United States Championship. And he is showing no fear, no hesitation in this battle against Batista.
as he swings him into the barricade. Cesaro, he, this is the perfect opportunity for him to send a message to his opponents this Sunday. And as well as that, send a message to the Raw General Manager Paul Heyman that Cesaro is world championship material. And with a win tonight, no, Batista dodges, dodges the elbow drop. But a win tonight over, over a seasoned veteran like Batista, I think it's hard to doubt that Cesaro would... I mean, we've got a lot of superstars pursuing that world title, but Cesaro, a win tonight, could definitely throw his name into the mix. Let's look at this. Nice elbow to the face there by Batista. And now slamming Cesaro's, the back of his head off the mat there. Batista right now has regained control. But he can't afford to give up the offensive anymore because at that point, at this point in the match, Batista, if he loses control of the match, it could very well be over. There was a bulldog. Now the cover. One, two, no, Cesaro kicks out again. What does Batista have to do to put Cesaro down for a three count? Vertical suplex now to the Swiss Superman. It's been a very back and forth contest here. Neither man affording to give an inch. And spine buster there from Batista. And you know what this usually sets up. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Here we go, but no. Cesaro blocked the kick. Batista was looking to set up the Batista bomb, but Cesaro had it well scouted. And now Cesaro, what's he gonna do? Oh, he sweeps him off his feet. Now can he lock it in? Sharpshooter is applied. Cesaro locking in the sharpshooter. And if he cuts off the legs of Batista, that'll cut off any access to the Batista bomb or any power power move for that, for that matter. Cesaro now, no, Batista with an elbow to the gut. And now, wait a minute, Cesaro! Cesaro the Swiss death! He caught Batista off guard. And he, put, he might have just knocked him out cold. The cover, one, two. No, Batista kicks out of the Swiss death. How did he do it? Well, Batista, he might have been gone for several months, for almost six months. But that does not change the fact that Batista is still one of the best today. But Cesaro, neutralizer, he's just a little bit better. Cesaro, the hook of the leg. One, two, three. Cesaro retains the United States Championship. What a match between these two men. Batista, what a return to Monday Night Raw. But in the end, perhaps ring rust gets the better of him. Cesaro tonight retains the U.S. title. Wah, what, what, what a performance by these two men. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on YouTubing.